Well, good evening. I trust that your Tuesday has been a great one and that the Lord has blessed you this day. Um, it's a nice day, or it was a nice day out here. Uh, we enjoyed it. Uh, a dear friend of ours passed away, and we had to go and do his uh, services. And it was good seeing the family again. But uh, we're going to talk about what the resurrection can do in our lives daily. Uh, you know, we just celebrated Easter, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and and uh, had a fantastic service, a fantastic week. My goodness, the Monday, and then what the youth did with the Good Friday, that, that was tremendous, and, and then the early sunrise service. Uh, I watched a little bit of it on the YouTube, and, and uh, when I saw the smoke coming out of the, the tomb there, the, you know, that... That reminded me about the resurrection. But before we get into it, let's have a word of prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, we love you and we praise you, Lord, for the day that you have given to us. And we, we just thank you so much for it. And I pray, Lord, that you be with us now as we uh, dig into your word again. Lord, it's always exciting to do this. And Lord, I just pray that you uh, just give us something. Give us something tonight that we haven't even seen before or realized it, Lord, that can uh, just uh, get the spirit just uh, excited within us. And, Lord, we just be ever grateful to you. Bless us now, for it's in Jesus' name that we pray. And everyone said, Amen. I know you did. Well, listen, you remember in our lesson in uh, Mark uh, how Jesus was telling the disciples again this was for the third time that he told him that he would die and that he would rise again. And, and it's it's very unusual that every time that he did talk about that uh, his crucifixion, that he always inserted the resurrection about that in the third day that he would rise again. And, and you know, uh, in uh, studying all the time about the resurrection it just brings uh, to me in knowing that every day every day i know somebody died on the cross for me and that in the third day that he rose again that's the resurrection and that uh he provided a way for me to have a resurrection in in this tomb here he provided that and uh, in knowing that, it just excites me every day to know that, uh, you know, one more day is going to pass by, and that's one more day closer to when the Lord's coming again, and we can uh, follow through in our resurrection and go up and meet him in the air. Uh, now, that's exciting. That's an exciting thing to think about. But, you know, uh, in uh, John 10, I believe it was, uh, yeah, John 10 Verses, uh, in verse 25, Jesus was talking to uh, Martha here. You know, it was about, uh, you know, why he, you know, was late coming to Lazarus' tomb. And uh, he, he was talking to her about it. And in verse 25, he said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. That's one of the greatest I am things that he had, uh, statements that he made in the Bible. Because, you know, in, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But we, we know all of that. And, and, you know, and that follows through in the resurrection. Uh, and, and I believe uh, it's somewhere in, in John, John mentioned about that when Moses uh, lifted up the serpent, you know, well, well, that's talking about, you know, the resurrection of life. And it just excites you to get into this and seeing all this. See, the old statement is, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. And there's nothing else that can be said because God done it. He planned it. He He, uh, he sent his only begotten son in John 3, 16, well, that's that could be the only gospel that was ever written, and that would save many lives. God so loved. God was the greatest lover in the world. 
So sad, too bad, man. But he was the greatest lover in the world because he gave us the greatest gift that we could ever have. And that was his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. That if we would only believe in, believe in his crucifixion, his virgin birth, his resurrection, that we could have eternal life with him. That, that's the glory of it. And, and just thinking about that every day. We see all the calamity that's in the world today. But we know that one day, one day, Jesus is going to come in the air and he's going to call us. Paul tells us in First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, beginning with the 13th verse, he tells us about that when, when Jesus comes with a shout. See, that shout's going to be like so loud as a trumpet, as Gabriel blowing his horn. And he's going to come with a shout. And those who are asleep. Now, my, my dear friend Jackie, he's asleep right now. See, he, he's asleep. That tomb went to sleep. And, and one day when Jesus comes in the rapture, he's going to wake Jackie's body up again. He's going to rise first from the grave and, and and go and meet Jesus in the air. See, the Spirit's going to come back in the body. He, he, he'll have a glorified body. And uh, that's what all this resurrection is all about. People, let me tell you something. It's exciting. And he'll, he'll go up and meet Jesus in the air. Then we, uh, I say we, I don't know if I'll be walking on the earth then or I'll be resting. But we who are left walking on the earth shall go up to meet them. See, they're going to rise first, and then we go meet them in the air. And that's, that's going to be a glorious time for us. And, and just think about all of this. It's in, the, it's in God's Word. You need to study it. You, you need to see what he, he has to say for us. And, and when Jesus told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Listen to the end of it. He that believeth, <coughs> he that believeth in me, Though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yet shall he live. There's going to be a time. There's going to be a time when we go on to glory. And that's going to be the best time that you ever had. Lazarus, he was dead for three days, maybe four. And Jesus called him forth. Hey, Lazarus, come forth. One day he's going to come in the air and say, Jim, come forth. Grant, come forth. Marie, come forth. He's going to call us all and tell us to come forth. That's going to be one of the greatest resurrections that you have ever seen in your life other than Jesus's. Although we didn't see it, we read about it, we've seen uh, movies about it, we've seen plays about it. But just put on your imaginary mind and just picture all this. And it, it, it'll make your day beautiful for you. So don't sit at home and worry about what's going to happen to you. It's all... In, it's all written in red, <laughs> as redeemed done. And then I read the red letters. It's all written in red. He told disciples three times about his death and resurrection. And every time we read it, that's another time that he's telling us about it. And that ought to excite you. It ought to tell you that... It's all coming to a head one day. What did he say in John 14? Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also. Or if you believe in me, believe also in God or vice versa. And I go to prepare a place for you. 
and then I will send you a comforter, and then I will return to you to take you back with me. That's his promise. Telling you all about your resurrection. There's a day coming. Read your Bible. Study it. Get the excitement in it. This instruction book is an exciting book. You you can read all the Charles uh, Stanley books, all the Max uh, uh, LeCarte, whatever his name is, and, and read all those books, Billy Graham book. You can read all them books. But the most exciting book that has ever been printed is this book right here. And it lets you know all about the resurrection and the life. Read it. You'll get excited. And you can't keep putting it down because you, you go back again. Every time you read it, there's something new for you. Something new. Read about it. Study about the resurrection. And study about the, how Jesus is going to call you. If you're a Christian today and you believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he's going to call you. He's going to call you by name. And you're going to rise again up to the eternal heavens with Jesus. Think about it. Think about it. God bless you. Uh, you, you know, I got a white shirt and tie on. I, I, I just got back from doing that funeral. And so pray for the Sellers family. One of the greatest families that Marie and I ever were associated with. And uh, I want you to have a good night. Rest comfortably. Ask Jesus to just give you a good night's rest. That if he lets you wake up in the morning, that you can think about the resurrection again. God bless you. Good night.